are a director, a well-known rapper and a musician, but I want to know when and how you made that transition into acting. I made a transition into acting when a man named Harvey Weinstein had called my house. There was a movie he called- He called your house? Yeah. Oh my God. He knew me as a composer. I had did some music for Kill Bill and you know, so I was in his circle. But he had a movie called Derailed he was working on. And uh, he just called my house and say, Reza, I want you to do my movie. You have a new career now. <laughs> And I was like, okay. Just like that? Yeah, I tried it, and I actually enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. he, he thought I was a natural, uh, him and, uh, and the producer, um, Lorenzo. Uh, Lorenzo's a good dude, too. Anyway, two good dudes. They really had belief in me, and uh, um, I kept pursuing it. And I wanted to talk to you, of course, about... Paul Walker because I recently interviewed him for hours and when I sat down with him he was so down to earth and mm. so genuinely kind and so charming. Right. What was he like on set? No, you you had a chance to meet the real Paul Walker. I, I did. You know I mean? and which is a blessing because a lot of people won't get a chance to do that and we will enjoy him through his film and through his work, you know. Uh, he was really a cool dude, man. I mean, uh, I wrote a song called Destiny Bends about him, right? And that's because I was moved by the loss. And, it, and what I was just saying in the song was that, you know, people like that you plan to see again. You want to see again. You look forward to, to breaking bread with them again, you know what I mean? And then there's a chance that it doesn't happen. You don't ever phantom that it's not going to happen. And, if, and it's a real loss to you. So he was a real loss to the to the whole Hollywood community. You know, if you talk to anybody, there's another guy that's in the show with me named Sun Kang, who's also a member of the Fast and Furious mm -hmm. cast. And we had a talk about Paul, and he's told me one of the most remarkable stories, you know. And it was out of everybody that was part of this team that Paul did something that was just so human, that was so down to earth, that was so brotherly. And I was like, wow. And, and the more people you talk to, you hear these stories. And uh, that's just, you know, it's, it's not, it wasn't fake. Mm -hmm. It was real. Uh, it's scary, too. I'll just say this with you. I, like we got, you know, we're talking about a movie. But the scary part of it is that, is that uh, you know, so much good, you know, it's, you know what they say? They say the good die young or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that quote. I'm gonna have to smack somebody in the face or something. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, might have to do something, yo. <laughs> it sounds like you definitely learned a lot from him while working with him on this film. It sounds like there were some really good qualities that he had that you're able to take away from him. I guarantee you. Working with David Bell, who played Lino in the film, he had some really awesome parkour stunts. You didn't get to do any, did you? No, I didn't get a chance to do any, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> you no, didn't try off no, camera? I have no qualms <laughs> of not doing what David does. David is a very unique individual and very special, and his talent is remarkable. And, and it's real. That's another thing. You know, you're looking at, I'm, you know, I'm a real person as well. You know, this is a pretty unique cast when you think about the, 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 the actors, you know, not the characters. The characters are very unique also, but think about the people that's playing these characters, that they are authentic to what they're doing in, a, in a such a way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, David can really do those stunts, you know what I mean? Paul is really a hero. And Tremaine, you know, or the RZA, is really a guy who started in a world like this, you know? I've, I've long left it behind, but, but I remember when I uh, when it was time to strap up, and I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I remember, I remember that. Made in Hollywood.